All right, back now, 845 this week on Today Food. We're highlighting regional favorites from across the country. First up, Jersey Girl, Laura Vitale, host of Simply Laura on the Cooking Channel with a tri-state favorite, two different ways. Laura, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Anything parm. I love anything I'm parm. In. You're making chicken parm and eggplant parm. Why not? You didn't learn this recipe till you moved to this country from Italy. Well, exactly, because chicken parm is really not a traditional Italian uh, dish. So it wasn't until I moved to Jersey that I kind of became like the Italian classic. Do you know what I mean? Perfect. Let's look at your ingredients. <laughs> the panel. list of ingredients are it's very short and sweet, kind of like me. You'll need your basics. You know, you need to, a dreading station. So for that, you need some flour, breadcrumbs, eggs. I like salt and pepper, and of course, a touch of garlic powder. Um, and then you need some chicken, and then cheeses of your choice. I like a mixture of mozz and provolone and parm, and then some marinara sauce, olive oil, and some herbs. We're going to dredge, all right? Talk to me about right. your dredging station Okay, so station the dredging here. station is very simple. Flour, you got your eggs with a little bit of milk, and your breadcrumbs. The crucial thing is I'm adding some granulated garlic, salt, and pepper to my breadcrumbs. What I don't realize, what people don't realize that they do so often is that they forget to season every layer of their dish, which is really important because you don't want just the top to be layered. Makes to sense. Be, um, to be seasoned, you want every layer to be seasoned. And then you just dread very simply. You just dredge into the flour, shake off the excess, dip into the egg, shake off the excess, and then just dredge in your breadcrumbs. And you don't want too thick of a coating, otherwise it's gonna get all gunky. And then you've got perfect chicken cutlets. You're putting those in a hot frying pan. Hot, what what hot, oil hot. is in there? A little bit of light olive oil. You can use sunflower oil, but nothing strong like an extra virgin because it'll just burn up and be terrible. How long does it take for that to cook? Something that thin will take about two minutes on each side, and that's it. And then what you do is once you have your beautiful cutlets ready, you layer them with your favorite marinara sauce. You can use store-bought, homemade. It doesn't matter as long as it's good. You layer. Your and sauce. Do your cheeses. Do a you know trio of cheeses because why not? It's a parm, right? At the end of the day, we love that pull from the mozzarella. I love the really sharpness of the provolone and a little parm. This is going to go in the oven. Cook at what temperature for how long? Four, four twenty-five, three seventy-five. It doesn't matter Look until everything is golden and bubbly and the cheese is melted and that's what it looks like with a side of spaghetti. Two for one today. We're going to eggplant parm. The ingredients? ingredient list is similar. The only thing is there's no garlic powder and there's no breadcrumbs. All right, show me how you do it. All right, so ideally you get yourself a nice small Italian eggplant. When you can't find those, just look for a really firm eggplant and then you want to slice it nice and thin. I've done a terrible job, but the culinary crew does an amazing job. Okay, dredging station. Only dredging difference station, is you mentioned no breadcrumbs. No breadcrumb, but you want to salt and pepper your flour. You want to salt and pepper your eggs, and there's no milk on the eggs at this point either. Now, this is how... I just want to take a look downstairs. We've got oh, tasters. They've been talking about this all oh, morning, guys. It's, it's, it's a parma We're oh loving goodness. it. So, so good. good. So good. It's so good. <laughs> and then so good. this is how we do it in Naples, Italy. We don't do breadcrumbs because when you like to make nice sandwich out of it. You don't want the breading from the breadcrumb to compete with the bread. And then you just fry them until golden and crispy, and that's what they look like. They're nice and thin. And then same thing, you layer. So you've got a layer of eggplant, you've got your parm, you've got your mozz, you do another layer of that, you bake it until golden, bubbly, and How delicious. How long does that take in the oven compared to same, the chicken? Same thing. You just, everything's cooked. So you're just looking for, like, the cheese to melt. So it's probably going to take a good, I would say, 15, 20 minutes. Can we show can we show this here? Who <laughs> did the huge... portion control on that one there? <laughs> that That's is huge. massive. But Laura, you can do it like that or you can do it in subs. We're so gonna, We're going to dig in right after we go kart race. Oh, okay? let's do it. I don't want to cramp up on the course. For all of these recipes and all of this week's regional favorites, check out today.com slash food. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.